Okay, my name is Ethan Lundfull, and I have here with me Catherine Mays. She was the March 2023 Women's Baller of the Month for Cleveland State University. And unlike all of the other awards for Baller of the Month, this one was voted on by the public, and Catherine ended up winning. So congrats, Catherine. Thanks, Lam. <laughs> okay, so we'll get in with the interview. Um, for those who don't know, which... I don't know who wouldn't know this by now. Catherine completed her undergrad at OSU and now is at Cleveland State in grad school. So what are you pursuing there and how long do you think you'll be there? And <laughs> continue playing dodgeball the whole time. Uh, yeah, um, so I did my undergrad in environmental engineering. Um, and so I'm doing my master's now also in environmental engineering. Um, what was the second question? Uh, how long do you plan on how, how long, long do you plan on being there? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm still working full time, so just taking a class a semester. So it might be a couple years. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to play as long as I can and just kind of help rebuild Cleveland State as a team. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, you have to start taking better care of your arm there. <laughs> Um, so obviously you have a pretty decorated, uh, history in the NCDA, Women's MVP award multiple times on the women's first team All-American list. So this award has been a long time coming. What does it mean to you? How important is this? Uh, yeah, no, I, I think it's, uh, overdue that we are giving these awards, um, and recognizing, recognizing women in the league. Um, so I think, I mean, we don't just have a role on the court. We have a big role kind of behind the scenes too. Um, and especially as we want to grow the league, it's important to recognize, you know, some of the bigger names and people making a difference. So, um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. There have been some great strides in the women's development side of the league this year, notably with the first all women's only match, which you were at. So it's good to see, and I hope it continues to grow. Um, so I usually ask who a player looks up to, uh, but in this case, since you're such a veteran, I will ask you, who is your favorite player that you mentor or coach currently? Oh, gosh. Could be from across the league. I know you do a lot for the women's, uh, games and tournaments or on your own team. Yeah. Um, I guess it's been really cool to kind of serve as a mentor to Akron. I spent a lot of time with them in the fall semester going to their practices. Um, and I played with them at the one uh, women's division at OU. So that was pretty cool. Um, I guess on my team, there's just, it's so many rookies that I hope I can kind of serve as a role model for all of them and really help them with nationals this year. Uh, I don't know, that's a, that's a good question. All right. Um, uh, so you've been mentioning that you hope to grow CSU's program and continue to see it develop. What do you think the future holds for CSU Dodgeball, and do you have any plans to get there? Oh, I have a lot of plans for CSU. Um, I guess just to start, a lot of people might not be aware that OSU was kind of a struggling program when I walked in, struggling just to keep numbers high. Um, and certainly we weren't the best team by any means. Um, but I like to think that we've really created, or at least when I left, there was um, you know, a lot better connections with the team um, inside and it, on and off the court. Uh, so I guess that's uh, gonna be a priority for me. Um, CSU is a little different because we're a commuter school, so it's really hard to keep people on campus for practices. Um, but I think our big approach is going to be finding throwers. <laughs> um, CSU doesn't have a club baseball team, uh, so I think that's going to be our our avenue this upcoming semester. All right. That uh, sounds like a solid plan. I really hope that uh, <laughs> you can get that underway. So I want to see, I want to see teams keep getting better and as a league expands. Mm -hmm. Um. So, the week or day before tournament, do you have any uh 
rituals or go-tos before or after matches besides not being able to sleep? <laughs> I was going to say, a lot of anxiety <laughs> leading up to a, a tournament. Uh, rituals? I don't know. I don't know That's that there's one thing I do in particular. McDonald's in the morning seems to be like a, a recurring activity. Do you have a music or a type of music or songs you put on or anything like that? Yeah. Um, I would say it's wear. good music. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say it's good music, but uh, there's a few songs that um, OSU used to play on the way to tournaments. So those kind of come up in the playlist. Um, what I wear, it's always long sleeve and leggings. <laughs> That is a patented Catherine look with the <laughs> no skin showing. That's right. Um, all right. So I think I've asked this in every women's interview I've done. So obviously the no sting is new to the league for the women's division. What are your thoughts on it? And do you like it better than the pinch format? Uh, I think uh, the fact that I started with pinch, I, I don't like no sting any better than it. I like the competitiveness and the fast pace um, aspect of pinch. Um, but I also think no sting is kind of a, a great option for women because you can generally hold them better and not lose grip strength on them. I think it's a more uh, inclusive ball type. Um, definitely excited to see where it goes, though, with more women's tournaments. Um, it's definitely better for women's participation as well. I mean, there's not a whole lot of teams with women on the starting 12, so this is kind of a good opportunity for women to play. I agree. I do like I do like to see uh, pinch games, though. Mm -hmm. um, so, obviously, Nationals is in a couple days this weekend. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most, and who do you look forward to seeing the most? <laughs> I'll start with the second one. <laughs> uh, excited to see everyone, but um, especially OSU. Um, I guess uh, I'm hope I'm excited that we have a full twelve. That'll be a little different than most tournaments we've gone to this semester. So that'll be nice for us, and I think we can. Um, I think we have the potential to go three zero. Um, it kind of depends how our communication is going and. How our arms are feeling. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so uh, that answers the who you were looking forward to seeing. Is there any like event, like the All Star match or mm. the women's match that you're interested? Yeah, yeah. Um, both of those definitely. I think the women's match is going to be cool because we have like seventeen person teams. Um, it'll be really great to get everyone we can. I mean, it's hard with like those earlier tournaments throughout the season because not everyone can attend, but this is, you know, the culmination of all these other teams. So it'll be really cool to play against and play with people that I haven't played with before. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's uh, any particular matchups I'm excited for. Um, I think uh, MSU JMU. Will be interesting to watch. Um, yeah, I think uh, OSU GV will be interesting to go either way. Uh, yes. Definitely excited to see um, CUW too. So we'll see how they're doing. Yeah, it's another new team that's going to be here. This will be their first nationals. Yeah. Uh, kind of already alluded to this with your. Uh, CSU 3-0 prediction, but do you have any mm -hmm. other bold predictions that you would like to put out there? Any themes you think might sneak into the Final Four or maybe upset and win the whole thing? Oh, boy. Or even make it to the round of eight. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, it would be really cool if CSU can break out of that first round because uh, apparently that's never happened. Um, so that's a bold take as we make it. <laughs> We make it one round further. Um, in terms of like Final Four, I, I really think JMU has a shot. Um, I think the top three Ohio teams are 
kind of neck and neck, depending on how people are playing. Uh, I mean, otherwise, it's the teams are predictable. I think we're going to make Final Four. Who do you think? <laughs> What's your Final Four? What's your Final Four, Catherine? Uh, I just wrote this out. I think I had uh, JMU, MSU, Cincy, and OSU. But we'll see. Interesting. Times are definitely changing when a lot of predictions have only one Michigan school in the Final Four. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Anything can obviously happen on Sunday, and a lot of it depends on the bracket draw. So yeah, really exciting this year that we have some parity in the league. Yeah, this makes such a difference. So we'll see how the seeding works out. We'll also see who can uh, – Who's got the stamina? It's a lot of tough matchups on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who can uh who's got the best pace for the two days. Yeah. All right. That's all I've got for interview questions. So thank you for your time, Catherine. And congrats again on the award. One of many for your uh trophy case. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and thank you all for watching.